Hello, Bill Molyneux here, Historicon. And once again, we are looking at one of Jim's games from Historicon Abaku, I believe it is. Um, the fuzzy wuzzies and dervishes have to break the bloody square. So, audio is very bad in this room, so what I've done is I've stripped the audio and we are just going to walk around the table. And here we see the dervishes and fuzzy wuzzies. I think Jim had about a thousand figures at this game. So right now it is just, there is our first square. Now we have units of um, the Camel Corps in the blue, the Sailors in the white, and of course uh, the Sutherlands, I believe it is, um, in the red jackets. Now, the extra detail that Jim uh, puts into these games is incredible. Um, you'll notice he even has the camels on, on, on the ground type camels. He really found some unique figures that I think, oh my gosh, it's Goober the Traveling Bear. How did he end up in the Sudan to fight the Fuzzy Wuzzies? He doesn't look all that worried. Uh, he's a pretty good veteran um, and, oh my gosh, it's Piglet. Now, Mr. Jim, um, he also has a stuffed animal he takes all over the country. And um, I think Piglet was just in Italy. But you want to hear more about toy soldiers. These are armies in plastic. And he does have some lead Britons intermixed. And I think some Jenkins maybe too. And uh, here we have our Egyptian troops. You'll see they're, they're clad in white with their uh, fez. A couple Gatling guns. We're coming along the other side of the square now. Very nice. Um, I love how he has his camel core painted up. And of course, here we have dervishes in white jobs and the patches. And there's a skirmish group coming up. And then he has the, um, you know, the fuzzy wuzzies. Though it was hardly fair and all the odds against you. You broke the bloody square. So I hope you're, you've enjoyed this little snippet of Jim's um, um, square battle. He's done the cartoon. I've, I made the couple videos already of cartoon. And this is, uh, you know, unfortunately, I couldn't interview Jim because of the amount of noise in this room. So, of course, I stripped the audio and I'm re-recording. And Jim, thank you for letting me... Uh,